Well, former country Liberals Minister Willem Wester van Holter says he has no plan B if he loses his seat of Catherine. In a candid interview with the ABC, he's taken a swipe at his former leader, Adam Giles, urging him to take responsibility for the party's electoral wipeout. Willem Wester van Holter has been the face of Catherine politics since he claimed the seat eight years ago. Sitting on a seemingly untouchable margin of 22%, not even he considered the prospect of losing. Uh, well, if I do lose the seat here, I have really uh, no plan B to speak of. I didn't expect uh, to be in this position. But his Labor opponent, Sandra Nelson, currently leads the vote in what had been the safest CLP seat in the Territory. Look, I think I've been caught up in uh, the territory-wide swing, but also a number of issues here that have pulled voters uh, all over the place. Fracking is not welcome here. Issues like community concern around fracking, the government's alcohol policies and the sale of TIO, especially in a town that knows all too well the need for insurance coverage. Then, of course, there were the high-profile political stumbles, the failed midnight coup against a leader who refused to budge, and his resignation from Cabinet following an investment scandal involving a Vietnamese dragon fruit company. I take responsibility for the fact that, um, you know, I haven't done as well as I expected to down here. But he's also urging Adam Giles to take responsibility for what he's described as an electoral bloodbath. He was the chief minister at the time of uh, this horrible drubbing uh, in, the, uh, in the election 2016. Uh, and, and I would expect that Adam should come out uh, and accept responsibility for that. Willem Wester van Holter says he remains hopeful he could still claim the seat. As the old saying goes, it ain't over till the fat lady sings and uh, so I'm certainly hoping that uh, there is a swing back my way. He'll have an answer by next Friday when the final count of postal votes takes place. Stephanie Zillman, ABC News, Catherine.